Hi, my name is Prem Chandan and I am a technical marketing engineer with Cisco. Cisco DNA Center is a controller for secure access to networks and applications. It provides automation, visibility, observability, insights and programmability. In this video, I will show you how to host the Thousand Eyes agent using Cisco DNA Sender on a Catalyst 9K and view the test results in Cisco DNA Sender. The Thousand Eyes agent can be used to measure and view the application performance from the campus to the private cloud to the SaaS applications and to the branch. There are three easy steps to host the application using Cisco DNA Sender. First is you have the agent configuration ready. So that is the prerequisite information. Run the application hosting workflow in Cisco DNA Sender and provision the switch using the workflow. The prerequisites for hosting on a switch are you need to have the HTTP server configuration on the switch the AAA or local authentication setup, and also configure the HTTPS user. You need the 17.3.3 version on the 9300 or 17.5.1 on the 9400 switch, and you should have a Thousand Eyes account. The HTTPS secure server configuration should look something like this, and there is some additional configuration also required on the switch. The prerequisite information is the IP addressing for the switch and the agent. The sample values are given here. This is for your reference. Now let us see how to host the Thousand Eyes agent using Cisco DNA Sender on a Catalyst 9K switch. Select main menu, go to provision and app hosting for switches. Here, you can upload the Thousand Eyes agent, which you download from the Thousand Eyes dashboard. Once you have uploaded the Thousand Eyes agent using this menu, you can see the Thousand Eyes card and you can click on it and then enter the name. It can be any name, it's just a descriptive name for the workflow. Once that is done, in the next step, you can select the location where you have a Catalyst 9K switches where you want to deploy this agent. And then make sure that the switch is ready. So there are a few things for it to be ready. You can check the status by clicking on view details. Now that it's ready, we can go and enter the network settings. Here we can enter the VLAN settings. We will change it to static. It can be dynamic as well will import the network settings the file has been exported already and the network settings have been entered so we're just going to import the file here this will enter the network settings like the agent ip address switch ip address prefix and other details now we will look at the docker options here the first thing is the agent token the agent token can be obtained from the Thousand Eyes dashboard. So we will go back to the Thousand Eyes dashboard, go to the agent settings, add new enterprise agent and copy the token that you see here. Once you copy the token, you can go back into the Cisco DNA Center and enter the token in the Docker options. Then provide the switch name where you are hosting this agent. And once that is done, if you have a proxy, you can enter the proxy details here. We will change it to static and then provide the proxy name. Once that is done, we can go into the next step and you can see the VLAN name was not entered. So it will prompt you so you can fix it if there is any issues. And once everything is fixed, we can go into the next step and see that the summary details are all correct, the version name, the network settings. And then once you provision, it takes a few minutes to provision on the switch. Here it's already done. 
you can check the status it says it's provisioned now we can go into the manage app and make sure it is running on the switch as you can see here now let us see how the agent tests that are running on the thousand dice dashboard for this particular agent can be viewed in the cisco dna center dashboards in cisco dna center in the application health dashboard once you select the site where your agent is installed you can view the agent details the number of agents installed the number of tests which are configured on those agents and the alerts so this data is coming from the thousand eyes integration scrolling down in the application health dashboard we have a new dashlet called the enterprise agent test this shows the test that you have set up on the thousand eyes dashboard the switch on which that app agent is hosted the packet loss jitter latency if any from the thousand dice dashboard for each of these tests and you can also cross launch from here into the thousand dice dashboard for a particular test and view the detailed test results in the thousand dice dashboard and troubleshoot further using the thousand dice dashboard for more information please visit the cisco dna center youtube channel the user guide and the assurance guide thank you for watching